Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws, and also a Space Facts, because I'm drawing one of my characters looking up at the stars, and I thought that'd be pretty fitting. Um, just for starters, I'd like to say that this Space Facts video is probably gonna be for people who don't know a whole lot about space, like me. Like, as I was doing the research, I thought all these facts were pretty interesting, but I know I have a lot of friends who are, like, really deep in NASA news and NASA information and all that sciencey stuff, and they probably know half the facts that, or half if not all, of the facts that I'm gonna tell you guys. But, you know, and I, I thought it was fun. Shout out to my boyfriend who kind of encouraged me to do this. So, also, um, Punch and Skittles was like, yeah, go do that. So I thought that was gonna be fun. And I did the information and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy this next five space facts. All right, so starting with fact number one, this one has to do with how big the observable universe is. So basically, there's a lot of species on this planet who live, you know, way longer than humans. Like, I think the one that I saw was the whale who lived 211 years. But, you know, even with that being said, this universe has been around a lot longer than we have. I think scientists, they said, um, it, according to what we can see throughout our observable universe, there was about 13.82 billion years on this universe. So the, the universe is 13.82 billion years old. And that's just data taken from our observable universe. If you want to put this into comparison, this is like living your life about 172 billion times. And for all the nihilist uh, teens out there, I know none of you guys want to do that. This next one is actually one of my favorite. Um, I read this fact somewhere that 1.3 million Earths could fit in the sun, but, you know, the sun is not the biggest star, and I think that's probably what makes this so interesting. So there's this star called the UY Scuti, or Scuddy or something, I don't exactly remember what it was called, but this star is about 9,500 light years away from us, and it's about a hundred, no, sorry, a thousand seven hundred times the size of the sun. That's pretty big. So, like, if you could fit 1.3 million Earths into the sun, imagine how many Earths you could fit into the, this, this, why, you, why, scuddy, scuddy? Anyways, you get the point. We're pretty small compared to a lot of the things that exist in our universe. So everybody's heard the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, and that kind of alludes to the fact that uh, stars twinkle, except they don't. Uh, so, when you're thinking about stars, you don't exactly think about them turning off and on every now and then because that's essentially what twinkling would be. You know, stars don't actually twinkle, and most of us know that, but even if you haven't, you know that stars probably don't turn off and on. But the reason for this is actually because we're viewing stars through our Earth's atmosphere, and what the Earth's atmosphere does is it kind of bends the star's light waves. And so, because of this, it twinkles because the light waves are being bent and we're seeing it through this, like, bending shield thingy. If you wanted to feel extra small, because, you know, that's something that we all like to do, apparently the biggest galaxy in our observable universe, which is IC1101, is about 30 times bigger than our Milky Way galaxy. It's about like five or more light years long, so the number of Earths that could fit into IC1101 is pretty uncountable. I actually looked up how many Earths could fit into the Milky Way galaxy, and there were a lot of zeros behind it, so I don't even know what that number is called. I wouldn't know how to find the answer to what that number is called, but it was pretty crazy, and I thought that was interesting, and you definitely could not put that onto a calculator if you wanted to. Like, I'm pretty sure you would get a syntax error. So a lot of people follow, probably follow uh, NASA news, especially since this one's kind of, um, it's kind of a popular uh, information or news or something, that Cassini is going to crash onto Saturn's ground after like 13 years of work. And so while Cassini was capturing data for us, it actually captured this really interesting thing about Saturn, which is the hexagonal shape on top of Saturn's North Pole. And <clears throat> you know, this was baffling scientists for a while they didn't really know what it was, but they actually did some research with like jets and stuff and they found that what the probable cause of this hexagonal shape is that there are air currents or jet currents that are making this cloud into a hexagonal shape and it's been like that for quite a while so you know, 
that could possibly be one of the causes of the hexagonal shape on the North Pole. And there are a lot of other interesting facts about Saturn, like their, like the rings and stuff. But I thought this one was kind of cool, just because, you know, you don't see a hexagonal shape on every planet. It's actually never been found on any other planet. So, that's pretty interesting. But with that being said, I think that's the end of our five space facts. I'm pretty sure that was five. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the five space facts. We still have a little bit of time left on our video. Uh, so I'll just explain. This is on my Instagram. I was actually really proud of this one. Um, I put it on my profile picture as my, for my Instagram. Um, the space was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It was really, really fun. This is an idea I had in my head for a long time, and it's actually based off of a part in my story, uh, you, the one I've been talking about for a while that I've never actually gotten done. They're all just kind of a conglomeration, whatever that word is, of ideas in my head. Um, and so that's what that's what this was. I actually did one with a logo on it. I think I, I, think I do it in the video. Um, I did the circles and then I did the DT, which is detached, the, the name of the comic, on the sides of the circle, which I actually thought looked pretty cool, but I decided, like, what if I were to use that as promo images later? So I ended up keeping it off and not posting it like that on the Instagram, because I thought it would look nice and I could use it for future use, because this actually has a lot to do with the storyline, but it's pretty vague, so you guys don't know it yet! Yay! Haha, <laughs> yeah! I'm probably going to give a lot of spoilers because that's probably not going to get done anytime soon. Glad you know me as your neighborhood able to rely on person. I'm glad that's not a thing because I would not be that person. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint slash space talk. If you guys want to see me talk about something else or draw something else, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, guys. Bye!